I'm here to discuss welding safety, in particular electric shock. Now, we use electricity in the arc welding process to create the weld puddle. It therefore is obvious that there's electricity used in the process and if it's improperly handled, it can cause a serious electric shock. One of the problems that I've encountered over the years is that as I'm working as a welder, very often, um, inadvertently, you come into contact with the end of the electrode. If you're not wearing your gloves or if your gloves are wet and you're grounded, if you happen to be touch, touch something with your, any part of your body and this electrode comes into contact with your skin, you can get a severe electric shock. So it's very important to wear dry clothing, keep yourself insulated and away from the end of the electrode. It can happen accidentally, crawling through pipes or through constricted spaces. Um, TIG torches are also good for getting an electric shock off of. This uh, tungsten electrode is live all of the time when you're doing scratch start TIG. So if you come into contact with it inadvertently, it touches your uh, clothing, uh, penetrates through to your skin, and your, any part of your body is grounded to something, uh, back to the welding machine, you become part of the electric circuit and you can get a good, a pretty strong direct current electric shock off of that. The other thing that you can get a shock off of is, is this uh, machine. Now the, the MIG welding machine is usually electrode dead. There's no power at the electrode until you pull the trigger. While the uh, wire is uh, being fed through the uh, contactor tip at the uh, front of the MIG gun, that wire is live. It, there's electricity there. And if it comes into contact with your body and you're grounded, you're going to get an electric shock off of that. So please be careful about that situation.